Good morning everybody and welcome to my humble abode once again. Today what I'd like to do is go and finish off the farm. I found out what the problem with the, the power was and I shall show, go and show you what I've been doing. So let's go straight away to the farmyard. Let's go to the farm here. And the problem with the energy was I've put in here a, a redstone energy cell and I'd link that the red net energy cables to the to the gate here, the gearbox, and discovered that it was still not working. So I then changed the red uh, the red net energy cables for these redstone flux ducts, and it works. And what I did is just do nothing to the farm at all. I just left it as an arboretum and put some seedlings in there and let it get on. And what I discovered is. I hadn't given it enough space. As you can see, I made a square, which was 13 by 13. There's a, something I need to get rid of. And in actual fact, it looks like it's more like another one. Look at this. We're having a fun today. And there's a skillet nine. Is there anybody else looking around here? Oh, I, score all the time. Oh, I can see another creeper. Somewhere over here. Let's just quickly go and sort him out. Don't want to stick up on me. It must be here somewhere. I'm very close. Oh there he is. So as you can see the farm is now working very well actually, it's got to produce a lot of wood with different types of trees and what I'm planning to do here is I'm going to plant uh, create a manual farm on the north side I'm going to have a peat farm so this will be a 3x3 three three block here here on the on the east side we're going to have an orchard in other words what we have already just trees here on the south side I'm going to create a rubber plantation and here on the west side I'm going to have some crops. So let's go back into the farm and let's start with that one. So what we need, I shall get rid of a few of these as well, maybe don't need those in my hotbar. So what we need is, is a circuit board and a soldering iron and what I'm planning to do is to create it like this, rubberized south peat is I'm doing a manual farm so a peat bog here we've got a crop farm and here we've got a, an arboretum or an orchard so let's just make some more space in my here we go so let's start north south east and west okay so what then we do so I think we take the soldering on here and right click it what I want to do is to make a manual farm. So we have a manual farm, a managed farm, manual farm. So here we have the, the items. I think, I'm not sure which one goes where. Let's have a look. Peat bog four. Hmm. Actually, if I've forgotten the order of these, it doesn't tell you the order in here. What does it tell me here? Yes, thank you. Tell you what I shall do. I can unsolder things, so let's do it like north, south, east, and west. And then we put a circuit board in here, and now we have a, f a manual farm board. So let's go back to the farm here and insert this into the farm. Oh, actually as it happens, I was lucky, just that the crops and the orchard were swapped over, but that's fine. 
So, what we need to do now is we want to get, let's set up first of all the, uh, the bog earth. Let's take these three bog earth here, and we'll also take a few rubber trees. I've only got a few rubber trees. And we also need some dirt. Let's come in here, let's take a stack of dirt out of here. And let's turn off the farm. So the way I'm going to turn off the farm is to actually take the power off it and I should take one of these out of here. Oh, you see, the farm's been very busy and started to do some work for me. So I'll have to just get rid of some of these while I'm thinking about it. What do we want? I don't want those. Okay. Quite a few saplings there. So, the peat side is north. I'm only going to do the peat side on camera. The rest will leave to another day. So what I'm going to do is to take my excavator. Here, and I'm just going to excavate out three by three um, channel. Replace that, replace, replace this with peat. Oh, again. I think I'm a bit full on, so let's get rid of this one. I do want the dirt. Okay, what we're going to do is to lay down some peat, uh, bog earth. Here's the bug earth, let's put that in number five slot. What we do with bog earth, we're going to lay it out like this. We have to lay it out and the farm will then carry on working. And the bog earth needs water. It's only one square apart from the other water. So, with a bit of luck, we need to do just three three waters. Okay, I didn't bring any water with me. Let's go and get some water quickly. Let's go to the workshop. And in here I should find some buckets. Yes, we've got six buckets there. I'm not sure this will work or not. I've probably got too much stuff on me, so probably I should get rid of something. Yes, it's working. Ah, yes, I need three buckets of water, but actually two buckets will do. Let's get rid of these mob droppings, as it were. What else have we got in here? That will do. I think we don't need that one either. Right, perfect. Let's go back to the back to the farm and what I'll do is I'll make a quick uh, water what's it called make three stones in a row and then put some water in there and then we always have a constant flow of water previous farm this didn't work is that the, the farm should automatically replace the bog earth what was happening with my old farm is it didn't replace the bog earth what it did was to simply um, uh, just leave the water and take over all the bog earth away so I'm hoping this time that bug's been fixed and we can do work properly the other thing I noticed is when I had a tree here these 
uh, advanced solar panels were getting blocked by the tree, so I've moved them a little bit further out. Okay, and now we can turn the farm back on again. We have to do our own, for the crops we'll have to do our own planting, but that's no big deal. Let's put that back again. Now, the farm will carry on working. What we do need to put into here, of course, is now some crops. And I think these sakura saplings weren't working, so let's put in my crops. I haven't got the where are the seeds in here. Yes. That's what I was worried about. Doesn't work. Ah. And it's also no time. Anyway, I shall leave the farm for now. And what I was planning to do here, you can see I've got some landmarks, is to see whether or not um, I can. Oops, what's this behind me? Workshop. I forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, the challenge for today, and the last thing I'm going to do, is so I'm going to get one nether emerald ore here. And I'm going to see how many we can get out of emeralds we can get out of this. So let's have a look. Let's press U and find the usage. So we get five if we simply grind it. We get two if we smelt it. Two ores, that is. We get five if we put it in the macerator. Two from the ores from the redstone furnace. Pulverizer gives us five. And here we get three emerald ore in the induction smelter with one rich lag. So let's do that. Because that's going to be the best. I'm pretty certain we'll get six. Let's keep the rich lag. Induction smelter. Rich lag emerald ore. And I'm hoping we should find a machine that will give us three it's likely the induction smelter would do with um, uh, cinnabar. Let's have a look. Press use on that to see what we can find out. Okay, if you simply smelt it, you get one. And it's in fact, if you pulverize it, you get two. That means we get six already. If we put in the signal, we get one and a quarter potentially. We can smelt it. We can put it in the rock crusher, that will give us two. But we can't put it in. Ah, okay. Good. So let's use the rock crusher for a change. It's this big machine over here. Ah, it's not going in. Isn't that strange? Okay, back to the pulverizer. Ah. Oh dear. I'll have to empty out the pulverizer first of all. emeralds from our one nether egg, nether uh, emerald ore. And that's all I'd like to say for today and thank you for watching and until next time, bye for now.